A former NATO officer claims that U.S. special forces have conducted secret raids inside Pakistan's border regions. Those operations were held between 2003 and 2008, but only one was ever made public. Live now to Washington for more on this one. Lauren List is there for us this morning. Hi, Lauren. What more do we know about these operations this last decade? Hi, and what indeed were those elite U.S. forces looking for in Pakistan? Well, according to reports, they were looking for high-value targets in both the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. Here to talk to us more about it is historian as well as investigative journalist Webster Tarpley. So now this NATO source has come forward and said there were several secret raids done within this time frame in Pakistan with special forces. Is this credible information? Yes, absolutely. As a matter of fact, the one in September 2008 was, well, that one was, was widely known and was denounced as a severe provocation by the Pakistani uh, government. There's also a report of the British Special Air Services going into Baluchistan, and this is quite credible because it's Pashtunistan and Baluchistan are the two areas that are being goaded into rebellion. Just a little a word of context. Uh, the Obama West Point speech of the 2nd of December is a thinly veiled declaration of war against Pakistan in the sense that it, it announces the intent of the United States to promote the dismemberment, the partition of Pakistan along ethnic lines. And in order to do that, you have to create trouble on the ground. We also had then a New York but Times... But the whole issue is that Pakistani's government does not want... They, they are... They look down right. on any kind of troops on the ground by the U.S., right. although they put uh, they, up with the drone attacks. So. They, they condemn it in public, but there, there's a large feeling of resentment among the Pashtun and Baluchi ethnic groups that the government in Islamabad is playing footsie with the U.S. behind the scenes to allow these things to happen. Let me just cite the, the New York Times op-ed from the Rand Corporation saying it's time to take the war to Pakistan. Now, Ambassador Richard Holbrook, who's the U.S. czar for the region, was asked, uh, do you have troops in Pakistan? And he said, the U.S. has intelligence personnel in Pakistan, but not troops. And I would ask, what about contractors, Mr. Ambassador? And here we have The Nation magazine. Do you have evidence of any contractors? Well, here's what we have. The Nation uh, magazine, reputable, uh, says that Blackwater, Blackwater Select and Total Intelligence Solutions has a fairly massive operation being run out of Karachi, Pakistan, the largest city, under the auspices of the U.S. Joint Special Operations Command and the CIA. What are they doing? Snatch and grab, meaning kidnappings, snipers, uh, sharpshooters, meaning assassination. Uh, according to Vanity Fair, this operation was proposing to assassinate A.Q. Khan, the most famous scientist in the country. Now, the, the really serious dimension gets into the, into the bombing, right? We've had this Peshawar market case, the women and children's market at the end of October, where the Taliban came out and said, it, we didn't do it, it was the CIA acting through Blackwater. Uh, this, this, of so course, is a huge complex. What are you suggesting? that the U.S. CIA is doing in Pakistan? That they're doing uh, all sorts of things that they shouldn't be doing. I, I guess from some points of view, the golden age of Blackwater perhaps was not under Bush-Cheney, but it's now under Obama, and they're running wild in, in ways that trample on the sovereignty of, of Pakistan as a country. What does this mean for the U.S. wants to increase their drone program in Pakistan, and right. the U.S. and Pakistan are working together. So what does this mean for those relationships, well, this news? Do you think this news registers with Pakistani I'm sure officials? They, I'm sure it, it's a tremendous humiliation, and I, I saw this written up uh, before Christmas in, in The Dawn and other Pakistani newspapers. Remember, you're dealing with the Predator A, you're dealing with the Predator B, Reaper, the Predator C, Avenger. I think that's the beast of Kandahar with a jet engine involved. So these uh, are flying over Pashtunistan. It's now being extended into Baluchistan. So we've got a situation of mayhem where a, a peaceful village or a wedding party may be attacked for the sole purpose of creating a rebellion. And that's actually becoming a political issue here in the United States. On the so you think this is all to create a rebellion within Pakistan? To, to turn the Pashtunistan population and the Baluchistan population against the government in Islamabad, it also reaches over into Iran, a double uh, benefit there for the U.S., that you've got Baluchistan inside Iran. Uh, what we can look for is the city of Quetta in Balochistan, the so-called Quetta Shura, a, a council uh, of uh, top uh, Taliban, including the, the legendary Mullah Omar, are there. And Mr. Tarpley, the, thank you for sharing your opinions with us. We appreciate you wearing it. We're going to have to weighing in rather. We're going to have to leave it at that for today, though. Okay. Thank you for joining us, and we're going to send it back to you in Moscow with that. Yeah, Lauren Lister, Webster Tarpley, author and investigative journalist. They've got to hear his thoughts. Time, unfortunately, as you say, against us here.